Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around, is that a big top I see there lying on the ground, ballyhoo. Ah, oh, ballyhoo. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And by Northwoods Brewing of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, dedicated to craft brewing specialty beers including Flop and Crappie, Lil Bandit Brown Ale, and Poplar Porter. NorthwoodsBrewPub.com And now here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and part-time pig farmer, Michael Perry. Thank you, Phil, and howdy, Tent Show folks. Oh, it's great to be way up north here under the beautiful blue and pearl gray canvas. This fine, stout tent at the foot of Mount Asheville Bay, overlooking the ancient water surrounding the Apostle Islands, and just one sail full of breeze away from Shawamigan Bay. The performance you're about to hear is one in a long, long tradition of singing, dancing, and storytelling performed live and in person beneath this beautiful tent. We keep her pitched from June until the autumn moons, and we'd be most grateful if you choose to join us. You'll find a complete schedule at bigtop.org. We hope you join us, and if you do, when the first note rises from the stage, we think you'll understand why patrons and performers alike love to say, Big Top Chautauqua. It's the Carnegie Hall attend shows. Tonight on Tent Show Radio, we welcome one of America's most accomplished guitarists and a riveting live performer, the guitar-shredding Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Later on, during intermission, I'll tell a little story about orthodontia. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight's musical guest started playing plastic guitars when he was a toddler and started playing the real thing right about the time he graduated from kindergarten. He started playing live at the age of 13 and recorded his first album at 16. A self-taught performer, he cannot read music and taught himself guitar by following along with recorded music and learning one note at a time. Now deep into a career that has established him as one of the preeminent live performers of a wide range of the blues, by now he clearly knows all the notes and doesn't need to read them off a sheet because they bust right out of his heart and soul and out his fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, we've checked the fuses and reset the breakers. Turn it loose. Kenny Wayne Shepherd.
looking back No one ever looking back I see now that I need to see I don't want no more of that So leave it in the past I'm never looking but looking back
springs, broken idols, broken heads, and people sleeping in broken beds. Ain't no use jiving, ain't no use joking. Hey, everything's broken. Well, broken bottles. Broken legs, broken switches, broken gates, broken dishes, broken parts, and streets are filled with broken hearts, broken words never meant to be spoken. Hey, everything is broken. the crown, broken cutters, and broken soul, broken buckles, broken laws, broken pipe, broken tools, and people bending, broken rules, take a deep breath, feel like you're choking, hey, everything's broken.
Y'all ready to have a good time? All right, man, well, we're out here uh, celebrating the release of our newest album. It's called Going Home. And uh, if you haven't heard it, it's uh, the title is self-explanatory. It's us going back to our roots, which is basically uh, traditional blues music. And uh, we recorded a bunch of songs that were originally done by a lot of our heroes and certainly some of my biggest musical influences. So we did songs about people like Muddy Waters and Albert King and uh, Johnny Guitar Watson and Bo Diddley and B.B. King. And uh, we did one for you a minute ago, uh, The House Was Rockin' originally by Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. And uh, we're gonna do several of the, of the new songs later on in the set, uh, but before we get to that, I wanna take y'all back to our previous studio record. The name of that one was called How I Go. And this is one of our uh, favorite songs off that album. It's called The Heat of the Sun. <laughs> Burn 
even now in the darkness I can feel oh I can feel the heat of the sun
You are listening to Tent Show Radio. Welcome back to Tent Show Radio, folks. From the backstage dressing room with the one lonely little light bulb burning. If you've ever seen me smile, you'll know that I have never lingered long in the company of orthodontists. Over time, my teeth have proven to be serviceable and strong, but cosmetically speaking, they are a motley bunch. Right up front and off center, one incisor is askew and getting askewer. The misalignment highlighted by a corner knocked loose in grade school when the local banker's daughter eliminated me from a game of dodgeball with an overhand howitzer shot that I'm pretty sure bumped her up three spots in the NFL draft. I tasted smoke, spit chips, and felt a nascent shift in my heretofore naive certitudes with respect to established gender roles in a patriarchal society. The most prominent feature of my dentition is a front and center gap that will allow the passage of one thin dime, or, in hard times, a nickel. The official name for the space is diastema, and when I was young, my parents asked if I wanted to get it fixed, but by then I had honed an ability to spit water through the diastema to a remarkable distance, and with enough force to knock a cabbage moth from the air. It got to where I could spritz my brother in the back of the head from 15 paces. I don't do that anymore, as he is all grown up and a logger. His diastema is even larger than mine. As a matter of fact, all three of we brothers sport one. Once I ordered t-shirts for each of us that said, I'm gap-toothed and I vote. On a possibly related note, all three of us were into our 30s before we found wives. I'm married now with two daughters, the elder of whom has long been afflicted with a wayward bicuspid and moderate jaw alignment issues. And so when she hit her teen years, we joined the Orthodontia Brigade. My wife and daughter interviewed several orthodontists, finally selecting one with good references and a flexible payment plan. My only reservation lay in the fact that when I met him, he appeared to be 12 years old. I run into this a lot now that I'm of a certain age, and my daughter informs me he's actually married and has two daughters of his own, but it's all I can do to keep myself from telling him not to spend all our money on skateboards and bubble gum. And he does have our money. Until I go to my grave, every time I see my daughter smile, I will recall the instant when I wrote that breathtaking check. It was, in the most etymologic sense, your classic bracing moment. I submit this without complaint, as we are nearing the final visit, and the results have been nothing short of remarkable. I do not begrudge the orthodontist his fee. That said, the first time I visited his clinic, I noted he shares an office suite with a financial advisor. In light of the one direction money flows between us, I don't know if this is kismet for him or irony for me. At her next appointment, my daughter will have her braces removed. As much as she has enjoyed sporting a mouthful of multicolored rubber bands, she tells me she's eager to be free of all the steel. It'll be lovely to see her fresh smile, the rogue tooth brought into line, the malocclusions resolved. And if she smiles beside me, her teeth will look even more perfect by comparison. I could join her, I suppose. More and more adults are mingling with the teenagers in the waiting rooms these days, but no, I shall maintain my gap. Not ready to write that check, for starters, but also not willing to surrender my superpower. A full-grown man shouldn't be doing things like knocking horseflies off a rock using nothing but a swig of water and a diastema. But when I do, my girls giggle and grin, and that's all the perfect smile I need. And who says you can't smile if you have the blues? You can if you have the right person playing them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Kenny Wayne Shepherd.
and you turn down you ran oh yeah alone it slid right from my hand all right help me out now hey blue on black tears on the river push on the shelf it don't mean much joker on jack match on the fire cold on ice a dead man's a whisper on a screen doesn't change a thing don't bring you back Thank you so much. We'll send this out to all the girls.
I'm a king to be, baby. I'm buzzing around your heart. I'm a king to be, baby. I'm buzzing around your hive. Yes, I can make you honey, baby. Just let me come inside. Well, I'm a king, be, baby. But don't you want? Don't you want to be my queen? Oh yes Yes, I can make you honey, baby Like the world ain't never seen Reverend Sean, what I'm talking about
People of the Tent, Kenny Wayne Shepherd. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the summer home of Tent Show Radio. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau, Bayfield, Wisconsin. Offering sailing and kayaking among 22 pristine islands, gourmet restaurants, art galleries, and historic lodging. Information online at Bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions. Online at thebayfieldinn.com. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you join us in the tent or join us in the air, whether you beam us or stream us, we're as grateful as a guy whose teeth line up good enough for what they're for. Remember, the Big Top is open all summer long and into autumn and has been for going on three decades now. We'd love it if you came up and or over for a show. I'm going to head on back home now, admiring my diastema in the rear view mirror. Drive careful. If you can't drive careful, watch out for the other guy. We'll see you next time. And remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well... I suppose.